Hi everybody, we're going to start with the construction of our explosion box and it's going to be the graphic 45 fairy dust is going to be the paper that we use for this project. So I have pre-cut my chipboard. I've cut five pieces of chipboard. This is medium weight chipboard. I've cut them eight by eight. I have cut one piece eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth this is for the top and along with the top you've got two pieces that are eight and an eighth by two inches and two pieces that are eight and a quarter by eight inches or by two inches eight and a quarter by two inches I'm sorry and then I've also pre-cut my my one inch strips uh, these are one inch by eight inch scored on the half inch mark. These are one inch by two inch scored on the half inch mark. And I have four additional pieces that are uh, one inch by eight and a quarter. And we will trim those down to fit as we need them to. So those are for the, the top. So let's get started with the, the base. We're going to start with a 5 by 8 by 8. And we're going to bring in another one. We're going to take one of our 8 inch strips. And we're going to peel the score tape. We're going to add some extra glue. There we go. And we're going to put that right on top of there. And if it's a little long, I'm not worried about it. Did I grab the wrong ones? I did. We're going to set that aside. How did I get that one? These are the 8 inch ones. Alright. I must have mixed them up a little bit. Let me see here. Ooh, those are all long. Hmm. Those are short. Okay. <clears throat> we'll just trim some of these down. So we'll go back to this one. And then we'll... Um, yeah, let's use up these four. These are all 8 inch. So we need those for our base. So we'll use those. I don't know how I did that, but I did. So let's add a little glue to this. And these ones are the eight inch ones. Somehow I got my eight and a quarters mixed in there. And we're going to bring that there. We don't want to cover our score line. Flip that over. I'm going to peel this off here. I'm going to add some more glue. We're going to tip this up like that and we're going to bring this one into that so that it knows exactly how far away it has to be. And we'll press that down. It saves us some time to try to sit in there figuring out the width we have to be. All right. our centerpiece here. And so this video shouldn't be too long. This is just going to be our box. And then the next video we'll start adding our um, flips and stuff for the inside. So I'm going to bring this up here. Again, just trying to stay away from that little Scoring. They're going to overlap on the outside. That's not a big deal. And this is going to take up some counter space when it's done. So. We're going to stand this up, just like that. 
and bring this into that. Press it down. There we go. All right. And the next piece. I've been, to, I've been thinking about this project for quite a while and uh, I have an idea in my head so and I've been gathering the, the things I need for it so it's time it's time to get it done and I think it's going to turn out really cute. So, I guess we'll see, right? We'll find out together. Let me get that up there. We're going to stand this up again. I'm going to try to keep this piece out of the way. I'm going to slide this in there. Push it up against there. down, flip it, there we go, and we have one last one that's going to go in here, like that, I'm not too concerned about that little bit of glue that's going to squeeze out there. That's going to get covered with our paper. Right. Yes. Pull that open. Okay, we're going to stand this up. I'm going to try to keep this out of the way here. Oopsie. What did I do? Oh, I did that. Yeah, I did that right. I made myself panic there a minute, thinking I had that wrong. But I got it right. There we go. Bring it into that piece. Press it down. Thought I had flipped it wrong there for a minute. There we go. All right, <clears throat> so this is our actual box. It will come in like this, okay? And then those will, when it opens, it will explode like that, okay? So, and I think I'm gonna do some, because it's so big, I think I'm gonna have ribbons running and we'll tie some ribbons on the corners too. And then before we lift the lid, we'll untie those, so. That is the base of the box. Let's work on our lid. Yeah, it's a big one, but I have big plans for it. So again, we have two that are two and an eighth, and two that are two and a quarter by two. Make sure we have the right ones. up now. Okay, I think these two are the tallest ones. All right, so these are two and a quarter. So the two and a quarter are going to be on our outside, and then the two and an eighths are going to be on the inside. So it doesn't matter where you start as long as you're going to keep them flipped toward each other, okay? And we will cut these down because I know those are too long. All right, so 
Let's go ahead and start. Add some glue to this again. I'm going to put this on there. I'm going to trim that down now before I put anything on there. I'm going to come from this side, I think. It might, yep, might be, be easier going this way. I'm just going to trim that down. There we go. And that's easier than cutting four different sizes. Or three different, ugh, two different sizes. Sorry about that. Now remember, it doesn't matter which one you start with. Just as long as the other one is mirrored on the opposite side. So this is our eight and a quarter. Oops. We want to bring this up just like the others. And bring that in. It should be just a little bit bigger on each side. Just a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Try to make that even. sheet here and this is going to be like a short box that's what it's going to be like for our lid so this one will be closed in for our first piece is left open okay. let's give this a trim here Good. Eight and a quarter. Make sure that's the same. We didn't get them mixed up. And I should have marked both of them so then there would be no questions. And again, we want this. To, oops. Ooh, almost goofed it up again. And it does goof it up. If you do not lift it like this, it goofs it up. Because it doesn't create the right amount of space you need between. That I have equal amount close to it on each end. There we go. We get in a hurry and then I forget that I gotta be careful. And another one here. We're gonna be doing our eight and an eighth. And now we'll have to trim up a little bit more closer to a eight. Whoopsie. About an eighth of an inch instead of a sixteenth. Alright. Okay. How much that's just a little piece of the chipboard paper there that we can get trimmed. And we're going to stand up our edge. Oh, I glued it to the wrong side. So let's do it this way. We'll stand this one up and add it to it. So it's going to have the same effect. I just went backwards, that's all. Now this one should line up just about perfect. Just about perfect. That should allow that to be inside of there like that. Let's flip it. Sorry about the confusion there. I didn't mean to do that to you. I know that uh, consistency is the key to making these things easy, so I do apologize for that. All right. I'm going to bring this in. And again, this is should be lined up just about perfect there. This should be about the same inch, eight and an eighth. And that's for our inside edge. 
Pull our tape. And we're going to reinforce this a little bit because this is such a big box. We are going to um, reinforce this by having extra strips. And that's why I cut so many. And we're going to do that again. Oopsie. You can see. Get this along there. these in. So now you can see that these are going to be inside of here. So let's start adding our little strips here. Just got that like that. A little bit of glue. Put that right on that edge. Like so. Let's add one to this side too. Oh, yep. Oops. It's a little bit longer there. Let's turn that. There we go. And we're going to line that up on there. Like so. Alright. Okay. We're going to peel this paper off. Maybe. There we go. Alright, we're going to bend this end. Actually, we're going to go like this. Sorry about that. This one is our quarter. This is our eighth. So our eighth has got to be inside of our quarter. And then we're going to bend that like that. Tip it up. And start pressing. Just like that. It's just a little bit. Hmm. Me on glue that a second. I got to get these in the trimmer and trim that down. But for some reason, these two are a little bit taller. I don't know if it's the way they're laying in there. I'm gonna trim this down just a sliver. correct it now. I might not be able to correct it later without having to struggle. So let me see here. There, that looks better. Alright. That looks better. Okay. All right. I just shaved off just that much. Um, I'm not sure why. Those were a little bit longer. All right, again, this is our quarter. This is our eighth. Our eighth has to be inside of our quarter. Bring that in. Fold it over. And it's easier to... I mean, once we get this made, it would be really hard to trim that down. So it is easier to do it this way. Okay. Put some glue on there. The nice thing about using glue and tape is that it um, the, the tape grabs a hold and 
holds it while the glue dries. All right, this is our eighth inch. This is our quarter inch. So that's inside of there. Hold that over and press. Piece of tape here. We're going to add that right to there. Just like that. Okay. So, and these go together fairly well. Um, you can make it whatever size you want. Like I said, the bigger you get, uh, you should reinforce it a little bit more to make it bigger. And that's what we're going to do to this one. We're going to reinforce this sides of this. Make it more stable. And some people just make it out of the cardstock. And uh, that's how they, they leave it. Um, I want, because this is going to have some things inside other than paper. I figured we'd beef it up a little bit. This is our eighth inch. Check. Yeah. Nope, this is our eighth inch. This is our quarter inch. Yes, this is our eighth inch. It's going to go on the inside of that. And fold that. Bring it up. Press on the inside. I'm not sure if you can. There you go. You know you can see. I'm just pressing. See on this one. This one's going to be in. That one's going to be out. Bring it up. Press on the inside. And there we have our box. Now, I'm going to reinforce the inside here. So that's what these other taped ones are for. I'm going to have to trim those down a bit, and it's going to get uh, more on the inside, so we're just going to kind of just cut like an eighth of an inch off right now. That looks pretty good. We want to make sure that they're going to fit inside of there. A little bit more. We're going to have two going this way, two going the other way. All right. And if they're not exact... It's not gonna hurt anything. It just makes it look uh, okay. There we go. We have to trim them off more we can. All right. So let's. Uh, this is just gonna reinforce those corners. Make that box nice and that lid nice and secure. And it doesn't matter where you start. I'm gonna bend this back here. And we're going to bring this down, oopsie, bring this down until it touches the corner. That's our side that's taped is up against there, and then the other part's down here. Okay. Now we're going to lower that, peel that tape off. Add some glue to it. Bring that up and press it. Just like that. Do the side. Okay. We're gonna bring that back a little bit. There we go. Okay. We're gonna have our tape right along the side there. All the way down to the bottom. If you can see that. It doesn't want to bend. There we go. If the glue gets over, it's not, not anything big. Because it's going to be. I can't see if that is in that corner. That is not in that corner. Get up there. Alright, there we go. Make the 
hard to get that now. There we go. bend this so it's all set to go make sure it's ready make it easier okay. now, it's been a while since I put one of these together so you will have to excuse me all right I'm pushing that up against in there this time I got the paper on the bottom, on this side here. And we're going to remove this. That might be easier. There we go. Alright. That. This creates some great reinforcements for this. It's really good reinforcements. There we go. Alright. I'm going to put this, let's put this up against here this time. That way I can just have this down here. Slide that into it instead. Makes it a lot easier. And then we're going to stand this up. Peel off that tape. So you can see me. There we go. All right. There we go. I'm going to lay it down, press it, and that makes that a lot stronger. Oops, I see that's peeled up just a tiny bit. Let's uh, a little tear in it. Okay, there we go. Now we can also reinforce these if we decide we want to. Uh, for right now, I'm going to leave it, and let's bring our box in and see how we did. And hopefully we are right on. Let's see my pen. Okay. So let's bring our box in. Now this is tricky right now because it's not. Uh, this should slide right over top of that. Just like that. Look at that. It's perfect. And I'll try to move it. You can see the. See? It turned out perfect. And then when we lift this off, here, let me zoom out a little bit here. So then when we lift this off, that will explode. Perfect. All right. That is the base of our explosion box that we're going to use for our fairy graphic 45 fairy dust explosion box. Well, I hope you follow along in this series and if you do I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and if you do subscribe to the channel, please hit that button, so that bell, so you can be notified every time I uh, post a video. I do other videos other than these type of things. And a thumbs up if you like my video is always appreciated. So until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.